In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make money online in the basketball niche. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, my name is Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks and how to make money online. All right, so as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make good money, reoccurring money over the long term with basketball. So maybe you are interested in basketball, maybe you're a coach, maybe you've played basketball and you want to take some of your talent, your skills and your knowledge, you want to transfer them online. It is a good opportunity because basketball is one of the top sports in the world. People from all over are looking for information, they're looking for knowledge, they want people to point them in the right direction and you could be that person if you know just a little bit because what you know is much more than what someone else knows and they want your knowledge. So this is a good opportunity if you love, enjoy watching, playing basketball, or even talking about basketball, this is a good opportunity for you. So the first thing that you need to do is pick a sub niche. Now, a niche is an area that you are creating content. So if we think about it from a higher level, basketball is our main niche. This is our topic that we're going to create content. All of our content is going to be about basketball. What you need to do as a beginner is you need to do what's called niching down. So basically what niching down is, is going a step lower than basketball to find things to talk about. Some examples, and I'll post them up here, are uh, you could talk about offense, defense, coaching, NBA, high school, kids, clothing, coaching, training, development. There's just a number of different things that you can get into, a number of different topics that you can get into to possibly make money online. And then, so now that we have niched down one level, you also want to consider niching down a second level because basketball is popular. That means it's going to be competitive. There are There will be thousands, if not tens of thousands of people competing for the same topics. And so what I urge you to do, if you're just getting started, if you're a beginner, niche down a step further. So if instead of just talking about offense, talk about swing offense. Talk about motion offense. Talk about flex. Talk about some of the different offensive systems and create content around those systems. For example, the swing offense. If you know anything about basketball, you know anything about high school or college basketball, you know that swing offense was popular at, at UW-Wisconsin. The, the Badgers, that's pretty much all they ran. And so what you'd want to do is, is talk about the components of a swing offense, things that you can talk about. And again, I'll post them on the screen here, is you can talk about who invented the swing offense, talk about the strengths, the weaknesses, and you can even talk about when to use it, the type of players that are best suited to run a swing offense. And you can do this again. for You can you do this for motion, flex, four by one, whatever type of offense that are out there. You can do it again for defense and then coaching strategies. You want to niche down so that you can, can create content for a very targeted audience. Now, you may be thinking, hey, there's not a lot of people that are going to be looking for this information, but there are 7 billion people in the world. Out of the 7 billion, 3.5 have internet connection. Out of that 3.5, what percent do you think are interested in basketball? Let's say 1%. That's still 400,000 people that are possibly or potentially interested in basketball, and that could be your target market. Now, obviously, if you think about it, $400,000 or 400,000 people, can you make money off of 10% of 400,000 people? Yes, you can. And also, you need to realize is that more people are coming up online every single day that are looking for more information. So this is a great opportunity because basketball is worldwide. It's not something like football where it's localized. It's really relegated to the United States, maybe Canada. Basketball, you can create content and people from Japan or China or Bangladesh can be looking for your information. Continuing on, the, the second step is to choose a platform. Now, the platform that you are going to choose depends on your sub niche. Ask yourself this question. Would people rather see the content hear the content or read the content. If you were doing a, a if your niche, if your sub niche is about the swing offense, would people rather read about the swing offense and its origins? Would people rather see the swing offense in motion? Or would people rather listen to it? That should give you a clear indication of where your audience is going to be. Quite frankly, I would prefer doing or watching a video on the swing offense, but everyone's a little bit different and it will depend on your target audience. Now, once you choose a main platform, I recommend choosing a secondary platform. Now, I consider social media, Quora, and Reddit as secondary platforms that you'll use to send traffic back to your main platform. I believe YouTube, blogging, and podcasts are your main platforms, and you should use social media like LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to, to drive traffic back to your main platform so that you can start building a following. Now, as I mentioned, I think there are three primary types of, of, of secondary platforms, social media, Quora, and Reddit. 
Now take a look at Quora. I have a video on Quora. I also have a video on Reddit, but take a look at, because those are great opportunities to grow your business. All right, so now that you have chosen a platform, the next thing you wanna do is keyword research. Now, the reason why I recommend keyword research at this point instead of uh, above choosing a platform is because your keyword research methods will change based on the platform that you choose. Now, there are probably three main ways that I look and find uh, keywords to create content about. So the, the first thing that I would do is I would start with the alphabet soup method. Basically what the alphabet soup method is, is you go into a search bar, regardless if that's uh, YouTube or if that's on Google, and you type in your keyword or your key phrase, and then you type in the first letter of um, the word. So for example, I would type in basketball swing offense A, and let the search engine auto fill or auto suggest because that's what people are searching for. This is a great way to get an idea of, of your competition, of what people are searching for, uh, of what people want to know, uh, because the autofill or the auto suggestion is based on what people have asked over the, uh, a, a given period of time. This is a, a great way to find content. And you just do that with every letter. So you go A, a to Z, you go um, basketball, swing, offense, A, all the way through Z, and just note down all of the different topics. And then you can go back through and decide what type of content you wanna create. So that's one way. The next way is a website called Answer the Public. But the great thing about Answer the Public is it has collected and, and basically archived questions that people have asked. And they put them in certain categories. And you can just go in there, again, type in some variation of, swing offense or basketball swing offense and it'll it'll spit out a, a ton of different questions and and queries that people have asked over a given period of time it may say swing offense versus flex or swing offense versus motion and that'll give you an idea of different ways to create content so use answer the public it is a great opportunity for you to create content so then the next opportunity is with quora and Quora is a question and answer site where people go in and they ask questions and you can provide answers. But we're actually gonna do keyword research with Quora. We're gonna go into the search bar and we're just gonna type in swing offense or swing offense basketball, and we're gonna get an idea of what people wanna know. Then we're gonna jot, we're gonna, we're gonna write that information down and, and consider it when we're creating content. So these are three great ways, Alphabet Soup, and to the public and Quora to create content. You can also do the same with Reddit and social media out there, but I like these three ways the best. The next step is you are going to create content. Now, again, using the swing offense analogy, you, you've gotten your keywords, you have chosen your platform, you're just gonna create content. You're gonna answer the questions that you found in your keyword research on the platform that you've decided. What I recommend is going with the mindset that you are going to create 50 pieces or more of content. Uh, create a schedule for yourself. Maybe you're going to do every one every other day, maybe one every day, whatever it is. You are going to create content in which you answer the question. So if someone is going to compare swing offense versus flex, you talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each, when to use it, and which one in your opinion is better. If you do that, you can find success online you are going to create helpful content and then you're going to create a call to action to, do, to, to direct them to do something else. And that something else is going to be to click on your affiliate link. What I'm talking about is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is basically recommending a product or service based on a customer's need in order to um, make some money online. Now, the, the benefit of affiliate marketing is you are recommending products that are of quality, uh, that people have tried and tested, and you're solving a problem. You're recommending something. You're help filling a void. Maybe that that question is uh, maybe the the person that's looking for information on the swing offense. They want to know how they can find training material. So in addition to you providing a YouTube video, you're also going to direct them to training material that they can do download online that will help them become a better coach. Maybe you may, maybe you've created content about. Um, different training and development drills, you are going to direct them to maybe a book, um, an online premium course to help them teach their their kids or, or their, their, their athletes about how to get better and shooting a jump shot. Affiliate marketing is a great opportunity for you to make money online because you're just creating content once and people are going to come from all over the world looking for a solution to their problem. They wanna know more about the swing offense, you're providing that information, and then you're going above and beyond and providing them with premium information via an affiliate link. So basically, once you've created the content, you are going to find affiliate programs 
And the easy, this is the easiest part, believe it or not. Only thing you need to do is go to Google and type in basketball affiliate programs or your niche affiliate program. So you might want to type in basketball training and development affiliate program and see what it returns to you. There are hundreds, if not thousands of companies that are working with people, content creators just like you and me, to help grow their business. They help you grow your business, you help them grow their business, and they pay you a commission for that. After you find your affiliate programs, the next step you wanna do is to learn email marketing. Now, the reason why you wanna learn email marketing is because it converts at a much higher rate, you're able to follow up with your customers and provide additional value, and you can retarget them for other products. So if a, if a customer enters their email address and they, um, let's say they decide to buy a DVD on Swing Offense, you can retarget them and follow up with them in a week or so and say, hey, I saw you bought, bought part, hey, I saw you purchase this DVD. What do you think about this DVD on the Flex Offense? Or how about the Boxing One Defense? There's a number of different products that you could retarget and you can actually grow your business substantially. And you can do this all automated with autoresponders and you can do like a decision tree that if they purchase this thing, you can retarget them for that. So once you learn or understand the basics of affiliate marketing, you go back and you add your landing page to your content. The landing page is where people will click into their email address and then that's how you you you're able to target them for additional offers once they enter their email address and they click submit then they'll go to the affiliate offer but it's most important it's it's probably more important that you get their email address than you want then get them to the affiliate offer because if let's say for whatever reason they don't click and they don't they don't purchase the the product right away you can always follow up with them tomorrow with an autoresponder talking about the uh the product that they that they're interested in so once you've done that, go back and track your results with analytics. This is a part that not many people will tell you about, but it's very important that you track your results with analytics. And this will work if you're doing blogging, YouTube videos, and even with social media. You want to know where your successes and failures are. You want to know your click-through rate, the time on page, your cost per action. Have an understanding of your analytics and it'll help you grow your business exponentially. People that struggle with affiliate marketing, they don't necessarily know or they, they probably don't wanna know their analytics because they don't wanna hear the bad news or they're maybe afraid of their numbers. But if you wanna grow your business, if you wanna make more money online, learn analytics. And then the last step is to just repeat steps three through eight until you have found the level of success that you're looking for. If you wanna know everything that I know about affiliate marketing, click the first link in the description. In addition to learning everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll also get a free guide to email marketing. Now I briefly touched on the importance of email marketing, but this guide will expand upon that and you'll be much, much further ahead than other people that are just getting started with making money online. So click that first link in the description, you'll learn everything that I know about affiliate marketing, you'll get an email marketing guide and you'll start being able to make more money online. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.